Hi, I'm Alicia Baker from Roland US here at Craft Music to take you on a tour of the Roland Piano Partner 2 app. This is a totally free app available for both iOS devices and Android devices, and it gives you access to an enhanced user interface, and it also unlocks many additional features for your Roland Digital Piano. Let's take a closer look. You'll see here on the home screen of Piano Partner 2, we have the seven features of the app available. I'm going to start by going into Remote Controller. The Remote Controller works just like a TV remote would work. You can control the various tones and features of the piano from an easy to use interface. So here, if I go to Piano, I can select Concert Piano, and now my piano will sound like a piano. Um, you can use all of the different tone categories, select your different tones. So it makes it really fun and simple to go right through the hundreds of tones that are available in these pianos. I can change the key touch here, which controls the sensitivity of the keys just by pressing whichever level I want. I can change the ambiance of the piano, adding some reverb, taking it away. And you even have transpose, which makes it really simple to change the key of your piano on the fly. If we go up to keyboard and tones, you'll see we have this beautiful, simple interface that allows us to select whatever tone we want to play with right from the screen. Um, it's worth noting that the RP-102 comes with 15 tones internally. However, when you connect it to Piano Partner 2, you have access to all of these tones, which is hundreds of additional tones. So it's a really neat way to utilize this free app. This will vary depending on the model. So right now I have a concert piano selected. Let's hear a little bit of that. Something I want to show you next is that what I can do by going over to this mode area is select dual. And now I have two tones layered on top of each other. You can select whichever tone you want for tone one and tone two. So you can layer any two tones. And I'm going to select a beautiful soft pad sound. So in here it adds a little ambiance. I can change that balance in real time just by sliding this balance knob, which makes it really easy to take those tones in and out. So that's a really fun way to play with having this real-time knob slider. We can also go back to single mode. Let's take a look at some other tones. In the electric piano category, really fun one to play with is Vintage EP. <laughs> You've also got a whole list of organ sounds here. Um, those vary great for churches. <laughs> And just to note again, it's so easy to just select and have all of them listed right in front of you. So it's a really nice way to use um, the app to select your tones. bit of nice nasal and flute for you there. Under strings, we've got a normal symphonic string, lots of different types of strings you can use. Remembering that you can layer those strings over any other tone that you might like. 
We've got all of these other tones that you can play with. A harpsichord's a really fun one if you're playing an older style of music like Mozart. And then you have your whole list of GM2 tones. And you can just swipe right through them and make it really easy to find the sound that you want. So let's go back to a piano tone. Another fun way to use the various modes of playing is to go into split mode. So now we've got this acoustic bass with a cymbal in my left hand. Right here where I'm sliding, you can see I've got the split point very easily adjustable. So you can put it exactly where you want it to be. Let's put it down to here, right where I want it to be. And you can adjust the balance of those two tones right here. If you want more of your right hand or more of your left hand, you just change it that way. So let's take a listen to a little bit of split mode. Here's a handy feature for teachers. If you put on twin piano mode, you get two middle C's. Splits the piano right down the middle. And this is an awesome way to have two students at the piano at one time. A great thing to note is that all of our pianos have two headphone jacks. And so you can play this mode with the internal speakers of the piano where both players hear themselves. But if you plug headphones into those headphone jacks, you can use individual modes so that each student only hears themselves or you can put on pair mode so that they can hear each other while no one else can hear them because they still have headphones on. So it's a really great way to utilize uh, the ability to have two students at the piano at one time. If we go up to metronome, we can access various um, different options for this metronome sound. This is another place where it really varies. As you upgrade through the Roland models, you get a few more features. But here, even on the RP-102, we can turn our metronome on. We can easily adjust our tempo. We can turn the downbeat off, get rid of that dinging sound, so you just get a tick. You can turn your volume up on the metronome, bring it back down, super simple to whatever your needs are, and you can change the time signature as well. So it's a really handy feature to have right in the app. Turn that guy off. And that is the remote controller. Let's exit back to our home screen. Another really cool feature of this app is that any of the internal songs that come in your piano, and this is another thing that varies, but any of the internal songs in your piano you can access from the song category. So I've got Twinkle Twinkle Little Star selected from our Easy Piano category. If I press play from this screen, we're gonna hear this lovely song. Little intro, and then we'll hear the song. I'm gonna pause it. Now, if we go down to the bottom where there's a treble clef sign, if we click on that, you're going to see that the music notation for that song comes up. And this feature is available for any of the songs that come internally on the piano. So it's a really neat way to access hundreds of free pieces of sheet music digitally displayed for you. So now I'm going to press play. We're going to get to keep hearing the song, but we're going to follow along as the sheet music moves. From this screen, you have a lot of options. If I come up here, you can mute the accompaniment. So let's, I just turned that so that it's undehighlighted. Press play again. So you hear that it was just the piano part. I'm gonna bring it back in and I'm gonna take away the right hand so that I myself can practice with a left hand sounding and the accompaniment sounding while I get to play the right hand. I want to note that the piano page automatically turned for me, so it all just moves along, and the nice little orange highlight of that number of the measure is so handy so that you don't need a teacher necessarily pointing out where a student's at. That's just going to track it for them. Once again, this feature is available for any of the internal songs. 
You can add a metronome if you want, right up there in the top left-hand corner. You can change the tempo right underneath that. All of these features make it really easy and convenient to practice free music, and it makes it fun because you've got those backing tracks too. So those are the songs in the DigiScore category. I'm going back to the home screen. Once again, that was the top left-hand um, apps or features of the app there, songs and DigiScore Lite. We're going to move one over to a super fun bonus feature that adds rhythms to your Roland piano. There's a lot of different things you can do with the rhythms. Um, you can select only drums. I have that highlighted now. If I take that off, it would be a whole accompaniment. But I think what I want to do first is just play an example for you because it's super fun. And then we'll talk about how I did what I did. So various things that I was able to do there. Having the only drums is a really fun way to have variation in the style of accompaniment that you're playing with. I started with the intro on, which is why that was highlighted. And it gave me that really cool, I'll show you again, accountant of drums. And then I got to come in. So it's a really neat way to use that intro. Um, I was able to just touch that in the middle of my playing to bring in, let's get a normal chord there that accompaniment that you hear with the actual harmonies of like a bass player and a guitar player. But you, you have that variation with the only drums button, which is really fun. It essentially allows you to use it like a very interesting um, metronome, you know, a way more fun metronome to play with. And you have all of these styles on the left side. So I played there the R&B, but you've got a bossa style, smooth pop style. It's going to tell you what um, beat, you know, that, that those styles are based on. And it does have a um, tempo marking by default, but you can change that very easily just by playing with those plus and minuses. So it has all these different things. We use the ending there so that it the drums came to a close for me, and you can do that with any of these 21 styles that come in the app. This is, once again, a totally bonus feature that you don't get in the pianos themselves, but you can add with the free app, and it's such a fun thing to play with. Back to the home screen. OK, so let's take one, uh, one look over at flashcards. If we enter here, this is another completely bonus feature, and it is a basically a video game that's going to try to teach you how to read notation and also work with um, ear training, which is something that I think is often overlooked in lessons. So it's a great thing to add. The app gave us a reference note of C, so we internalize that in our ears and then say next. And now I have to press what key I think that is. Ah, oh, I was right. <laughs> and it gives you, yep. Confirmation. I'm going to show you what happens if you're wrong. Try a lower note. Try a lower note. I got there. Same thing if you guess too low. Try a higher note. Got there. <laughs> and now we get a score. That is pretty good. <laughs> So with that, um, it's a very legitimate way to train your ear, and it's, it's a wonderful thing to be able to add to your students' training um, that they might not get in their normal lessons anyway. Back to the home screen again. We've got two more features of this app to review. There's a recorder section here. What's really neat is from this screen, I can make a recording directly into my app from my piano, and that recording will be stored in the app. So it's a very simple way to just make a quick recording. It's a matter of pressing record. You stop it, it's going to exist there, you can rename it and have it live there. And it's, then you've got your note of this recording whenever you want to re-pull that up. If we go back to home, we can see our final feature is called Diary. In the Diary mode, what you're going to find is that for any day of the week, 
it's going to give you a log automatically of how many hours you played. And you'll see down at the bottom of that graph when you played and how many keys you pressed and which ones, and even how um, often and how hard you press them. You'll see a lot of people stay around middle seat. <laughs> um, so this is, a, I mean, a, a genuine way to check up on students' practice time. Um, you know, it tells you there at the top how many minutes you've played the piano. So for teachers or parents, it's, it's a nice way to be able to see if your child has actually practiced that day. <laughs> Those are the seven features of Piano Partner 2, and they're so valuable. We really encourage anyone who's got a Roland Piano to use this app and just know if you haven't purchased a Roland Piano yet, it is such an awesome way to use the sounds and features that come in our pianos. Again, I'm Alicia Baker from Roland US here at Craft Music. Thanks for watching. <laughs>